PSG coach Unai Emery, of course, with the Spanish club last season. Hatem Ben Arthur has come in on a free transfer from Nice. As uh, PSG look to break through here, they will. It's an opening goal inside two minutes. Jonathan Ikone, the 18 year old, who's come through the ranks at Paris Saint Germain and beginning to impress on this pre season tour of the United States. It's Real Madrid nil. Paris Saint-Germain won. Well, it's a terrific run, isn't it, to Iacone? I mean, I think the Real Madrid uh, defensive qualities were, were really lacking. They've not started the game at all well, but Iacone comes across. And then you see this challenge here for Marcello. It's a really poor effort, and in the end, Iacone puts it away on his right foot. Cool under pressure, just slides it into the back of the net. But really poor defending. Look at that challenge for Marcello. It's a really poor goal from Real Madrid's point of view, but a great start for Paris. Unai Emery, new head coach, delighted, of course, with the start. Marcelo. Kovacic shows some nice feet. Marcelo back with Kovacic onto the post via the fingertips of Trapp and rebounded straight into his grateful gloves. Close, Kovacic to the equaliser. Well, firstly, Kovacic, it's a terrific effort. I think Kevin Trapp in goal will be really pleased with the save. As he comes back to Kovacic, you can see that he's bending around. It's a good save and he reacts first to get the rebound. Great bit of goalkeeping. Firstly, the save, he just manages to get his hand to it. And then the rebound, he scopes up, and uh, it's a real good bit. Free kick taken quickly by Rabio. Ferran, a little slow to read it. He eventually got the block in. This is Mounier. Oh, it's a superb strike from Thomas Mounier. His first goal for Paris Saint-Germain, the summer signing from Club Rouge. And absolutely no chance for Kiko Garcia. Real Madrid nil, Paris Saint-Germain two. Well, what a goal, what a strike. What a way to announce yourself to the Paris fans. Mounier. I mean, they kept the ball alive, Paris. That was the great thing about this. They never gave up. They lost the ball, but they're pressurising. They've won it back. And what a strike this is. Casilla's got no chance whatsoever. And it's with his left foot for a right back. Oh, it's a great strike. Top corner. No keeper's going to save that. Wonderful strike. Well, it was a mere token effort from Casilla. He knew that that ball was... Again. Pastore finding Munier. Lucas, it's great stuff from Paris Saint-Germain. It's Thomas Mounier, and he's got a second. And they're taking Real Madrid apart here. Too cute, too quick. And stretching into a 3-0 lead now here in Columbus, Ohio. Well, they got a little bit of luck in the end, but uh, it's a well-worked move again, isn't it, down this right-hand side. Mounier. And once he's in, I think he's trying to play Cavani in, it comes back to him. And he's got the composure on that left foot again, just to scoop it into the back of the net. But they just open up that Real Madrid defence again. They've looked so sharp, a lot more sharper, a lot more organised than Real Madrid. But Mounier on his debut, what, two goals? Fantastic. San Germain, Marcelo. Good offer from Isco. Appeals for handball and given. No great complaint from Serge Aurier. He's going to have a belated word with the referee, but it was an instant decision penalty, Real Madrid. Well, I think he's saying he can't get out of the way of it. I think he's smacked it in. Let's see if he lifts his arm up. Yeah, he's lifted his arm up. But, you know, you can't do that. You can't make yourself bigger. You can't wave them arms around and... Uh... Tonight give Real Madrid a lift yes despite the best efforts of Kevin Trapp just enough velocity in the 
left-footed effort from Marcelo. And Real Madrid have one back. Well, they need that goal to get back in this game and go in at half-time and give Zidane uh, perhaps a, a little bit easier of a team talk. But uh, that Kevin Trevi nearly gets there, doesn't he? Anticipates where it's going to go. It'd be disappointing he hasn't got his hands to it. Yeah, 